If you were asked to push a 1 kg box in a boulder, it will be easier for you to move a 1 kg box compared to the boulder at the same distance. Moving the boulder will require a greater amount of force compared to moving a 1 kg box. How is mass and force related to the change in motion of an object? In this lesson, you should be able to state the Newton's second law of motion. Newton's second law of motion states that acceleration is produced when a non-zero net force acts on an object. Furthermore, that acceleration is directly proportional to the net force acting on the object and inversely proportional to the object's mass. Mathematically, it could be written as A is equal to F over M, where A is the acceleration measured in meters per second squared, F is the force in Newton, and M is the mass in kilograms. This equation implies that the greater the mass of the object, the greater the amount of force is needed to accelerate it. If we rearrange the terms in the equation, we can obtain a more familiar portrayal of Newton's second law. That is, F is equal to MA, or force is equal to mass times acceleration. Newton's second law is one of the most fundamental relationships in physics. It defines the relationship between motion and its cause, which is force. In other words, Force is simply an action that can cause an object to accelerate or change its state of motion. Newton's second law describes how a force causes an object to accelerate. Because of this, Newton's second law is often called as the law of acceleration. For more science videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. And always remember that you are all awesome.